We did our activism project for Professor Matheny's African American Studies class on the question, what is race? We went around to various places on campus um, and we interviewed people on the question, what is race, by using a picture of Susie Guillory Phipps and asking people what they thought her race was. In our activism project, we wanted to explore people today, mostly young people today, since we did it on the college campus, and see what they thought defined someone's race. And clearly most people, by looking at her skin color, thought her to be white. As so they she define did. race by phenotype and not genotype as... We gave them the choices of white, black, Latino, Indian, Italian, Asian, and other. We most people said white. Majority yes. said white. Besides the some people that were in the class said black because they figured that we would only be asking the question because it couldn't be a white person. And then other people said Indian, and then one said eight, two, a few said Asian. Um, as well as interviewing people, we passed out these pamphlets on race and on the background of Susie Guillory Phipps. They talk about um, what. Uh, Susie Gilroy Phipps was a woman who considered herself white her entire life until she wanted to go out of country and had to get a passport and looked at her birth certificate. And when she did, she found out that she was documented as black. Um, and the reason for that was because she had one thirty-second African American blood in her. Okay. So Susie Gilroy Phipps took her court to the Louisiana Supreme Court, and then it made it all the way to the United States Supreme Court eventually because <laughs> Louisiana state law made, said that she was black no matter what. The government. majority of the population does. Yeah, yes. it, besides the government. Um, it was interesting, even one person said you can tell by her physical features that she's black not looking at her skin color. So if people look closely, they, they looked at more of the well-defined characteristics rather than the color of her skin. Yet. <laughs> she is very it's, obviously white by skin color. Just a couple, like... And she, of most of her life, considered herself to be white. Right. By the color of her skin. And by just her yeah. social status and everything. By the way she was raised. But. As we found out, most of the students on campus cons looked at her by phenotype, which is skin color and the design of her features, rather than genotype, as the government does. The average person will look at someone by phenotype and classify them by their skin color. Which is what we were exploring in our project and we found to be true. Most young people and all people define race by the color of someone's skin. And Susie Guillory Phipps, who defined herself as white the majority of her life, was defined as white by most of the people on this campus. The answer to our question that we put in our pamphlet for what is race is that African Americans are considered such when there is any known African um, ancestry, which is very, which is unique to African Americans. Any other person is not considered a minority when they are one fourth or less of that minority. So African Americans are the only race that, when they're only one thirty second African, they are still considered. African. When they have one drop of African blood, they are considered African. No matter the color of your skin.